a picaresque for New York City's gig economy, Marlo Granado's debut novel Happy Hour, Verso Fiction, 288 pp, out of 4, out Tuesday, follows Issa Epley and Gayla Novak through a summer of socializing and side hustles. The 21. Year, old, London transplants are without work visas and must find a way to earn the extortionate rent on their summer sublet. Key detail, the duo also happens to be pretty and popular. Together, Issa and Gayla live out a summer of feminine grit and glamorous grifting, and it's thrilling to be carried along. The book's cast of characters is long and wide, ranging, from the The Wolves of Wall Street to Williamsburg art snobs. Gayla keeps a roll of exo paper. Napkin numbers in her person Isis contact list grows so long she has to pair names with descriptors like Todd Abyssinian and Cat and Hair White Boots. The story is told through May 2, September of Isis' diary entries, giving the reader intimate access to her keen and confident judgments as well as the self, doubt and sorrow she hides behind them. Isis' voice is sharp and spunky. Her character is just as magnetizing. On nights out, which is almost every night in this story, Isis flexes her ability to put on personas and draw men with her allure. Initially, it's empowering to watch Issa deftly navigate and profit off of the slimy and salacious advances of men, more than one of whom remark on her exotic appeal. Then, as Issa takes the reader into her interiority, the dizzy and disturbed feeling that women are all too familiar with settles in. For all her prowess, Issa is consumed with others' perceptions of her and tormented by the question of what is her authentic self. Her sharp and humorous ability to the spuriousness of others seems to be a side effect of this self, questioning throughout happy hour. Issa struggles to express her feelings openly and grows to resent the overly dramatic, attention, seeking Gala. Friends describe Issa and Gala as yin and yang for more than just their brunette and blonde contrast. After four years of living together and the summer's financial strain the pair's differences collide in an explosive rift. What brings the partners in crime back together is nothing more than circumstance and shared history. The resolution left me with an unsatisfying answer to the question I was asking from the beginning, why are these girls even friends? For having such a complicated and sympathetic narrator in Issa and an equally complex and charismatic character in Gala, the end of the book left me longing for more depth to this female friendship. The strength of Happy Hour is Granados' wit and the assuredness with which she delivers on, the, knows observations and youthful wisdom. In a world where social clout serves as currency and judgments come unsolicited, Happy Hour is a satisfying exploration of what it is to navigate and know yourself in your 20s today.